Hey Taurus, here is your monthly forecast for the month of March 2024. Your forecast includes analysis of your planetary movements and other energies. To achieve this, I've combined the use of astrology and tarot to compile your forecast. To get the best from your reading, make sure you take your sun sign and your rising or ascendant sign into account. Your moon sign may also be relevant, but to a lesser degree. Remember that any examples given are generalized, so take what resonates with you and keep in mind that dates may be approximate. So Taurus, March is a month of realizing your ambition and discovering just how committed you are to do the things that you need to do to add substance to your life's desire. The sun's shift into Aries on March 19th will shine a light on the way others perceive you. Think about things like career reputation, public image, the way your clothing, uh, the methods of your expression and your talking style will be interpreted by other people. Spend the early part of March, if you can, thinking about how you wish to be perceived by others. Do things that will make a difference. For example, dress for the job that you want instead of the job that you already have. Be careful with how you express yourself at a job interview, for example. Keep the casual speak to a minimum or if you tend to be a joker, save that for later when you're talking about the interview with friends and family and make sure that you're well researched when it comes to any potential employer before you meet them. Little things like that can make a real difference. And although your image and outward facing persona may impact any part of your life, the greatest impact is likely to be with your official image. So things like work, career, or your public uh, profile, if you happen to be someone like me who's on social media. Uh, now, Venus will be entering Pisces on March 11th, and this will help to give you a bit of a boost. If you put a bit of effort into making sure you appear in a way that you want to be perceived, by the time Venus enters, it will help the remainder of March run a little smoother than it may have done without that extra effort. Towards the second half of March, you might begin to feel a lighter mood with the people around you. Everyone will seem a little less stressed out or a little more easygoing. This might actually be due to the hard work that you've put into the energy around you and, of course, the approach of spring, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere. That'll help as well. On March 19th, Mars enters Pisces, and this will help you to focus on spiritual growth, exercising your intuition, and activating energies that will help to heal emotional wounds. To get the best from Mars, make sure you spend time relaxing, get plenty of rest, and try not to overdo things. So, in summary for the month, Taurus, you may experience a few complex work issues arising in the early part of the month, but one of the things that will really make a difference is the way you present yourself to others. When the energies around you lighten towards the later part of March, you should experience the benefits of all of the efforts that you've put in during the previous weeks. You will also be feeling ambitious about work, projects or other goals that you've set for yourself. Make sure you balance these ambitions with adequate rest and relaxation, which will help you to remain focused and steady throughout the month. On the relationship front, March is a good month for healing, whether it means healing your own emotional wounds or perhaps even offering compassion to someone else. Restoring relationships may be easier this month and resolving differences, particularly with a romantic partner, might be possible. March is also a month that may lead to uh, reconnecting with people from the past or reflecting on some of the good times from years ago. Don't be surprised if you suddenly get the urge to look up an old school friend or maybe an old school crush just to see what they might be doing now. Your tarot card for the month of March is the chariot. The chariot is about having the energy and the strength to get things done, but with the benefits of good communication, the desire to bring people together and using the properties of your higher self to overcome relationship difficulties. The chariot is a card that brings a win-win solution and helps people who might otherwise experience conflict to come together in agreement and shared goals. Think about the chariot and consider what it represents throughout the month. 
negotiation, finding win-win solutions, connecting with diversity, and working towards shared outcomes. It's about sealing the deal and being able to operate with people who are different, but who share your good intentions. Also, demonstrating that you're the person that you want people to see you as and proving your personal strength. If you think about the chariot card, often throughout the month of March, you should find that it helps to keep you centered so that you can get the best from your month. This is the first month that I'm offering monthly forecasts on the channel, Taurus. So I'd love your feedback and any suggestions you might have to improve future forecasts. Leave a comment and don't forget to press the like button. Have a great month.